Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Square. Before starting today's video, I just want to say if you haven't subscribed this channel, go and subscribe to get the daily dose of our videos. I am going to introduce a fascinating website that can summarize the research paper using artificial intelligence and the website can read it for you. If you are someone who loves to stay up to date with the latest research but don't always have time to read lengthy papers, this website is a game changer. The website uses advanced algorithm to generate concise summaries of the papers, which you can listen to using the website's built-in text-to-speech feature. So sit back, relax, and let's explore this exciting tool that can make your reading experience more efficient and accessible. The name of the website is A-U-D-E-M-I-C dot A-P-P. Let's write in Google Web Browser. This is the basic interface of the website. What you need to do is just sign up for an account. It is not necessary to give your phone number here. It is an optional thing. Create account and I have signed up successfully. Let's do it. So it is asking me who am I? I am a PhD student or postdoctoral student. Or In the field of what? I am a communication studies student and that is not available in the list. So I am going to write it here. So using this website for doing active research or keeping up to date doing active research and to help me deal with what lack of time let's say it is very necessary to give this information just to let the website know why you are using it let's go so the page is saying that my account is not verified yet with unverified account you can only get access to one paper i mean you can upload just one paper but if you verify your account it will give you five papers credit before advancing further i'm going to verify it from my email inbox I have verified my account now. Now I'm going to upload a paper. Hit new paper. Local PDF. You can paste a PDF URL as well, or you can or you can use Zotero as well here. I'm going to use local PDF because I have saved the research paper. Choose file. After selecting the paper from folder, it is asking you to select the language English. Continue upload. The research paper has been uploaded. By the way, you can create folders here as well. Anyways, so I'm, I'm going to select the paper that I have just uploaded. You will come across this interface and on your left, you will see some options. In key statements, these are key takeaways. I am experiencing it on one of my papers and I found this information correct. Uh, so you can scroll down to see the key takeaways. So if you want to listen to this, simply hit play. So it will read all key takeaways for you individual level factors and variation in exposure to online hate material we took the data from young adults whose age was between 19 to 29 years after finishing reading key takeaways it will automatically start reading abstract abstract and after abstract it will give you results in a very brief form and this sri lanka that is very important you know we collected data from four asian countries to check the level of exposure to online hate in four asian countries including pakistan india sri lanka and bangladesh sri lanka appears to have comparatively low score of exposure to online hate among youth and young adults than the other three countries and that is the beauty of this website that the website categorized sri lanka separately from other three countries because there were significant findings that came from this country and then you can ask this website to read discussion conclusion but it will not read the whole pdf for you and after finished working on this go back and can upload a new paper as well in explore based on what you have given to this website at the start at the sign up who are you what are you looking at like using this because of lack of time etc etc so if you start exploring it it will give you some collections climate change behavioral science because i wrote communication studies there so what this board is let me go back to the research paper and if you highlight something from that research paper a highlight will pop up if you click here it will be added to a new board and you can write your description as well another important feature that this website has is if you click on appearance you can change the font size and this dyslexia font if you have dyslexia i mean you are troubling reading text it will be changed to mitigate dyslexia dyslexia is for example if there is a word cat and sometimes you feel like it is act, the same alphabets this is called dyslexia now if i go back i can upload a new paper and can have the same features for that paper as well by the way you can upload five papers maximum with an account 
if you signed up haven't verified it you will only be able to work on one paper only but if you got verified from your email it, it will give you five papers permission and if you go to profile you can delete this account and can sign up again with the same account but if you had saved any folder or any board they will be deleted as well so this was the website i wanted to share with you today if you like this video hit like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you very much for watching this